Is your dog at risk for blue-green algae poisoning? As temperatures rise, so do the risks of blue-green algae blooms in freshwater lakes and ponds and virtually any body of water. In this video, we'll delve into the symptoms of blue-green algae toxicity, what to look out for, how to identify contaminated water sources, and what to do if your dog has been exposed. So join us as we uncover everything you need to know to keep your furry friend healthy and happy during the summer months. <music> Just what is blue-green algae? It's actually not algae, but a type of bacteria that grows in fresh water and standing water, especially when it's hot out. It is known to produce toxic substances that can harm not only aquatic life, but also our canine companions. Normally harmless in small amounts, increased numbers can release toxins that can cause severe illness and death. Blue-green algae is known as cyanobacteria, it's present in most bodies of water. Most of the time, they're invisible to the naked eye, but summer heat and runoff from agricultural areas with nutrient-rich fertilizers can precipitate a bloom of these microscopic bacteria, which are erroneously named algae. Peak times include June and July. What makes blue-green algae so toxic? It produces natural toxins that can cause death within minutes. How can I protect my dog from blue-green algae? There is no way to tell if an algae bloom is problematic or not. Of the thousands of varieties, 40 are known to be toxic. If you're traveling to a particular area and your dog will be swimming or having access to water, you may consider calling an ER or a veterinary clinic in the area to see if they've had any cases of dogs sickened by blue-green algae contaminated water. So what should you look for? The water may have a pea soup appearance or look like someone has spilled paint on it. Your dog may exit the water looking like they were swimming in a shamrock shake. The water may look murky and have an odor, but the absence of odor does not mean it is safe. The water may also have a blue-green or red color. What are the symptoms of blue-green algae poisoning? There are a plethora of gastrointestinal signs such as lethargy, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and liver damage. Dog could also be having nausea and may appear to be drooling. They may have nervous system signs such as drunken walking, muscle tremors, and even seizures. They could also have respiratory signs and difficulty breathing. There could be skin irritation, but more commonly in humans, they have dermatological problems and itchy, irritated skin. The diagnosis and treatment for dogs that have been exposed to blue-green algae depends on the signs that they're exhibiting. So the most dangerous ones cause neurological signs, sometimes within five to 15 minutes, and even respiratory failure. Why is blue-green algae dangerous to dogs? And what about cats? Dogs seem to be more susceptible than other species. Cats are reportedly not affected as they are naturally adverse to water and not likely to be exposed. Are humans also affected? It can sicken those who swim in the water and are exposed to the toxic fumes. Children and dogs especially are most susceptible. According to the CDC, in 2019, there were 63 human cases of illness with no deaths and 367 animal cases with 56% of the animals reportedly dying, unfortunately. How can I protect my dog from blue-green algae? Bring your own water when you're traveling in the summer and encourage your dog to drink it. Do not allow them to swim or wade in the water if you're uncertain about its safety. Many places will post signs, but you can't always count on that. Call a local veterinary ER or clinic and ask if there are any cases in the area. What to do if you suspect blue-green algae poisoning? Rinse your dog off quickly and yourself with plenty of fresh, clean water. Contact your veterinarian or closest emergency room immediately to inquire if there have been a history of blue-green algae blooms and next steps to take, as exposure can be rapidly fatal within minutes. Illness may not be apparent until days later. So the signs basically are very inconsistent based on what kind of bacteria they're exposed to and what type of toxins they produce. Are there any home remedies for blue-green algae toxicity? Unfortunately not. If there were neurotoxins made by the bloom, dogs that are exposed have a guarded to poor prognosis of surviving, unfortunately. Your best bet is to get your dog to the vet. What should you do if your dog has no symptoms, but you think he may have drunk some water with blue-green algae? Contact a local emergency room or veterinary clinic and again, inquire to see if there are any reports in the area and monitor your pet closely. 
Are blue-green algae blooms increasing? According to the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, harmful algae blooms have been on the rise for decades across the United States, with more than 20 states reporting incidents of blue-green algae poisoning in dogs and other animals. The agency also reports that blue-green algae blooms are becoming more frequent, larger, and more widespread due to factors such as climate change and nutrient runoff from agricultural and urban areas. It's easy to underestimate the risk of blue-green algae when having fun around the water with your dog, but the consequences of, of exposure can be devastating. By taking a proactive approach, educating yourself on the signs of toxicity, and seeking veterinary care at the first sign of illness, you can protect your furry friend from tragedy. Please share this video with your friends as knowledge can save a life and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things related to sharing life with our beloved pets.